we're we're on our way to disabling our tracker. Oh, I guess the sunbathe action is actually exactly the same. It's exactly the it's exactly the same action. A negative gets you plus one, and a neutral gets you two, and a positive. So it's the same action basically. No, where am I on the station? Oh, okay, I see. I don't know if we should do this. Like, I just don't know. I mean, I'll do this. What the hell? Get the, get the, get the energy. Get our energy up. That's nice. Oh, Maywick is at all of our homes, okay. We've already done that. Um I'm gonna try and get five of these because I know that if I get five then I get I can get something for it. Mm, dang it. I don't wanna re-roll a six. I don't wanna re-roll a six. six okay well I mean I, I feel like getting money is the way to go here I need I need money so I'm gonna get money and there's no reason to go up there to sleep I might as well just sleep right here right there's really no reason to sleep in my other it doesn't seem to be a reason That's a crappy roll. I think it gets us what we need. This one up here. So. for it oh for this one we get a shit mod oh my god I didn't realize that holy crap that's so worth it unfortunately we sold all of that data oh man 
Oh, jeez. We had so much of it, too. There's two access points. That's not enough, though. Will more open up? I really don't know. Now oh, what the hell? We can do it, we'll do it. Let's re-roll them. Nope. Oh, well, we got better numbers. I'm, I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself. I ha only have myself to blame, you know. Hey! Hey! They're selling them here, though. Nice. This gives us options. This gives us options. We can now leave. This. We can now leave. So... Uh, where's the, where's the orc thingy? There it is, the orc fabricator. I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm disappointed in the amount of, the lack of money that he gave me to get that thing, but hey, I finally got it. We got an upgrade point. You drop the ship mine corner of the galley table with an emphatic bang. Ankita spins around from the from from where she's been pouring over some documents in her slate. Holy shit, sleeper! Did you actually land a ship mine? She rushes over and hefts the huge cylinder, turning it back and forth. Well, shit. I might. It might actually work. She smiles wider than you've ever seen. Where did you get it? Uh, I built it? Built it? Well, well, you are full of surprises. Kina bangs on the galley wall. Hear that, Amber? The sleeper got you a new ship mine. The sound echoes down the sh ship's passages. You have to admit, being in a small space with, with a Kina when she's this excited is a little intimidating. Kina puts the ship mine back on the table. I'll start the process of fitting it as soon as I can. I might need your help with some of it. She heads back toward the counter to grab her slate. This isn't the only good news today, either. Looks like my good karma is finally coming in. She throws the slate into the table and spins it so you can see the screen. Take a look at this. You see the list of names and numbers? Nothing that exciting, along with what looks like a transit timetable. I found them. Found who? My crew, she points to a name on the list, or more specifically, Ashton Cade. It was his pass that was used to access Amber and slice the ship mine. I thought he might have been killed or robbed or his pass stolen, but it turns out he crossed the Founder's Gap the very next cycle. Founder's Gap? That big rift in the station, you can't cross it without the Founder's Ferry. She leans back in her seat. Yeah, I know some of the crew over at the ferry. Old Mercs used to run in an outfit I worked in with. I saw them in the out overlook and they mentioned they saw Ashton crossing. I checked the manifest and there he is. Looks suspicious. He hasn't said a word since the theft and anybody wanting to hide out might head to the greenway to go ground. She flexes. He won't get that far, though. There's no real docks out there. Only a couple of jetties in the wastes. So now what? Now I fit the ship mine? That's the first priority, but maybe you could help me out. Sure, how? It's like this. I head over there, especially in Amber. He'll spot me a mile off and go underground. He'll find a way to slip the station, or he'll bury himself so deep in the waste no one will ever find him. But you, Ashton, doesn't know you. All I need for you, all I need is for you to go there and sniff around, not the commune, not the slacks, stacks. He just have, he might have just, he might have gone to the edges, the margins, the wild places. That's what Ashton likes. You see him, you locate him, ping me on this. She hands you a, a, a calm earpiece. Seeing 
as this is your merc work, I'll be happy to give you merc pay. She shifts the seat. The thing is, I haven't got much left, so how about I tell the boys who run the ferry to give you a discount? I know it's not much, but once, once I grab this coward, I'll pay up. 200, nothing less. Okay. Good, I owe you. She lifts this, the worm mind out of her particular shoulder with worrying ease. I'm going to go get this fitted in the Amber's core. You get any info, any sense of where Ashton is hiding, let me know. She goes to turn and then stops. And once again, sleeper, thank you, I appreciate it. And Keita stomps off the guts of Amber with a ship mind leaving you in the galley. You glance around, a sudden nervous energy descending it. What is to come? You never thought you'd get work as a mercenary, but then again, it seems the eye is full of surprises. Okay, we got a new drive. We also got a new upgrade point, which gives us two upgrade points. I'm thinking of using this one. I feel like that's pretty good. It feels self-repair seems pretty good. So I'm gonna get it. I kind of wish I could get rid of the, uh, the sunbathe one. The photosynthesis one seems crappy. The photosynthesis one seems crappy when you can, we can reroll dice. So how much is it now? Now it's a hundred. So it was a, it was a decent discount. All right. Well, now let's work. I guess get some money. We now need a hundred. We don't have a hundred. All right, well, now we sleep. I feel like we're getting, we're getting close maybe to an end. Oh yeah, we got two sixes. Maybe, or... Hey, don't claw on my chair. You can jump up here, but you don't claw on it. You butt. though, but it's fine. As you step onto the passageway, someone barrels into you from behind, sending you stumbling down the corridor. As you step out, oh, you turn to see the unfamiliar spacer laden with heavy gear. She steadies herself, st staring you down. Excuse me? She squints at you, shaking her head before setting off down the corridor. I'm sorry for her. A second spacer smiles at you apologetically. She's on a mission, and when she's on a mission, not a problem. You're sweet. Peek! As she stands further down the corridor, glowering at her friend. She chops at the air, pointing down the corridor to wherever, whatever end she was rushing to. Peek raises her, their eyebrows at you. As she please, do you want everyone in the station to hate us? As she hardens. They want to hate us. They can hate us. She drops her hips. I'm not exactly seeing how much love it, it... I'm not exactly seeing much love as it is. We're lucky we can't we got through before they step up the damn cordon. Cordon? Peek gestures at her direction. See, they don't even know what they're, what you're, see, they don't even know what you're talking about. The station isn't Hawthorne. Not everyone has to follow some corporate protocol. And she sighs. I'm not saying they're, they are part of the administration, she jerks her head in the direction, but I'm saying we need to get these supplies to the briar, to the briar before someone 
starts asking you questions. The briar? That's her shit. Peek, what are you doing? Peek ignores her. We are with the refugees, the ones Havenage have cordoned off from entering the station. As she interrupts, the ones that are being quarantined in makeshift vessels have barely made it to the eye to begin with. The ones that your station administrators have called an existential risk and are running out of supplies while their right to, to safety is being debated by people with no stake in their future. She quickly looks away, annoyed at her own outburst. Peek sighs. She's right. People are trapped out there and they turn to Eshi. We understand that this is a big problem for the eye. Hundreds of refugees and more ships turn turning up each cycle. They hold up a hand to stop Eshi interrupting, but as she turns away, her burned anger a, a, a palpable force in the close quarters of the corridor. They need supplies, and after everything they've done through they've been through, the quarantine isn't helping. That's terrible. As she looks back at you, her fierceness fading. Peek, please. As she gathers herself in the supplies. As she, we need help. Just like the refugees needed us, we need others too. They smile at her. Peek turns to you. Come find us. The climbing briar is docked at the broken spoke past the greenway and the waist. We have a good view of the cordon, which, though we are keeping our distance for now, come help us. They squeeze your hand. We have 15. We have enough to actually, uh, buy some food. As she turns to leave and Peek follows, waving goodbye. A moment later, as she shouts back down the corridor, don't bother coming empty handed. You want to help show us, bring supplies or don't come at all. And with that, they disappear around the corridor. As she already picking up speed as Peek uh, calls for her to slow down. A rebel flotilla? Where are they coming from and why now? Each time you think you begin to understand this place, something changes. Plus one drive. Look at all of our drives. Look at all of them. We got we got tons of them. Look at all of our complete ones. Those are all of the upgrade points we got. So wait. Why are you smelling things, Claire? So, this is ex exploration involves putting a dice in and seeing what happens. I mean, we can do this one and we get plus three. You know, we might as well get plus three if it's guaranteed, so we'll do that. I didn't actually realize that was, that was gonna cost us energy also. Farming stacks. Barter for food. Steal the harvest. That's mean. But it's plus five energy. Man, oh man. We can work. All right. Let's re-roll our dice. Oh, we got another six. Nice. Bang will be here in three cycles. We got here, what's this? Haifa. Two safe things. Oh, and this is this is that one. All right, let's do this one. Nice. Look at look at the negative. Minus three energy. Woo! I'm not. I'm not gonna risk that. That's, that's that's way too risky. We have 15 to buy food. Also, just just know we have enough money to buy food, so our energy isn't a big deal right now. I mean, 
I could do that one. Okay, let's do that one again. Let's just explore. Alright, we got positive. Nice. We found another location. Oh, it's mushrooms! Ooh. We can get mushrooms. We can get the mushrooms we've been looking for. Oh, man. I've been wondering how to get those, and now we know. Oh, we gotta get food. Well, technically, we don't need to get food. But we're gonna get food. How much is food here? 18. Okay, we can't get food here. So we'll go, we'll descend. Get food at the other place. And we'll play one more cycle, and that'll probably be the... Then we'll probably continue this game tomorrow. Alright, now we're gonna sleep. Right here. Ooh, good rolls. Some good rolling today. We have one money. I mean, we could just finish this one out, right? Oh, wait, what's this? Gather yeah, scrap. We need endure, apparently, to do this one. We need, we need plus one endure, okay. Wait, I'm confused now. I think we might do that. I don't know how to handle this episodic thing. I feel like maybe we should do that as a separate, a separate game. Like it's a content update. Apparently, apparently we're not even on the episodic updates of this game. It says episode flux is one of the first of three episodic updates. The citizens they were telling the story of the refugee flotilla which has arrived at the eye completing the action of love will be in that story but be aware it is intended for late game play i don't know how we handle that and also where is the thing that i was hacking i don't understand i feel like i was doing something over here and it's no longer available It's right here. I found it. The trail ahead extends deep into the overgrown section of the Greenway. At its far end of the ring, there is a long, lazy curve of the Greenway. It becomes the shattered landscape of the waste. Things are oddly quiet. Ahead stands a vast farm shack, broken from its axis by rust or force, and lying amongst the overgrown landscape like an ancient temple. It is stained with moss and algae, flows of green running out from its broken tanks like a frozen, brackish tide. This is, this is where Ashton is hiding. 
You are pretty sure all your intuition points to the shadows beneath this collapsed superstructure. You roll the comm headset gave you in your palm. You slip the headset on your ear and it fizzes with static. After a few moments, you hear Kita sleeper. Have you located the target? I doubt a doubt enters your mind. Or could can you be sure he is there? Uh, no hold. A confused silence. Maybe it is better to confirm that Ashton is there before you call. You put the headset back in your pocket. No need. You need not yet. You need to confirm. Uh, you survey the route ahead. There's a direct route, a line of broken pillars that take you into the center of the structure, or you could skirt around the pillars, keeping to the cover of the raised spire of the greenway and work your, your way around. It'll take longer, but it is better concealed. You decide to take the long way and head off towards the center spine. It is slow going there, where the overgrown meets the metal wall, but it is so concealed that you can barely see the glass roof high above. You follow the wall, knowing it will lead you to the edge of the collapsed stack. For the final part of the journey, you have to work your way through dense overgrowth, putting aside branches and fronds. It is exhausting, and you stop in a small rise to rest. It has been hours since you began. You desperately hope Ashton hasn't moved on. Just ahead, a soft glow is coming from somewhere within the farm shack. A glow, a glow light still on after all these years, perhaps. You take a little, you take a little longer rest than push on. You follow the faint glow of the shack. You find a broken tank. You step through the opening, trying to avoid the broken glass that sits among the moss and algae. You work your way up the slanted tank carefully, quietly. Somewhere, water drips, and you swear you hear a bird song. Hanging plants like the catch the light coating the place in a pale sickly green as you reach the edge of the tank you hear something an echoing hiss like a hydraulic piston you quickly move up to where the tank opens in the central drum and look over the edge the vast drum is like a chasm with plants growing on all sides and wet mossy islands at its base it is beautiful and for a moment you can't see anything but tones of green then you see the sleeper in a faint circle of light descending down through the drum, the sleeper lies slumped at an odd angle. They are surrounded by crates, and beside them, in one of the messy islands, there is an object, a cylinder set on a tarp. It is connected to the sleeper's head. You flinch. Are they one of the others? One of the ones that escaped with you? You squint, trying to recognize them. They are twisted, broken, open, wrong. You look away. You wait, unsure what, what to do. Your eyes fixed on the broken sleeper at the center of the drum, on the connection between them and the ship mind. You think of what might be passing through the connection. Thoughts, memories, or just data. You hear a sound, a quiet hiss, then soft footsteps. Below you, Ankita enters, her sidearm in hand. She must have followed the signal from the headset. She has been spying on you? Has she been spying on you? You watch her step into one of the mossy islands water around rippling as she does gunshot breaks the silence blanking out all noise it hits it hits akina's shoulder piece her, the ceramic armor cracking and holding as she braces on, into the impact then she launches herself forward the now activated armor launching her across the drum another shot goes wide before she reaches the cover of the crates bes beside the sleeper Shit. You hear the shout from one of the tanks high on the far wall. Nikita reaches over and wraps a hand around the thick connection between the ship mine and the sleeper. What is she doing? You better come down here or I'll rip this right out of their head. She screams at the wall of the tanks. You shiver at the suggestion. There's a long pause. All you can hear is the dripping of water running in the walls of the drum. Then Ashton calls out, I'm coming down. Don't do anything stupid for God's sake. He appears at the far side of the drum, stepping through the shallow water. Rifle raised above the head, his head. Drop the gun. Kita shouts. He throws it down in the moss. As you lean out to watch, you see him catch your eye, clocking your presence. What are you up to here, Ashton, you sicko? She stands. 
keeping her sidearm trained on his head. You ripped my whole shit mine for the, what, some freakish experiment? Ashton approaches with shaking hands, his eyes now fixed on the connecting bundle of wires. Akita still has hold of. Steady, Akita. It, it, it isn't like that. I needed the ship mine. You have to understand. They would have died without it. What are you talking about? I don't give a shit why you ripped my ship mine and crippled my ship. I should put you down right now. <coughs> she tightens her grip on the connection. Typical of you, Akita. No curiosity. Ashton, sh Ashton smiles shakily. That's why I never asked for it, for your help. You only look for after yourself, he nods at you. That sleeper up there, they are just bait, right? To draw me out? She sucks a breath in. Are you trying to give me more reasons to shoot you? I love them, Nikita. She looks down at the crypt crumble sleeper. I love them and they were going to die. I knew you would never understand that. He starts closing the gap between himself and Akita now, slowly inching forward. Don't do that, Ashton. Don't do that. Let the wires go. Let us go. If you don't get out of my way, he inches closer, please. I can't let you take it, Ashton. You stole it from me. You, let, you left me for dead. She shakes her head. You think I'm going to trust you after all that? I need it. I need them to survive. Ashton is in reach of the sleeper now. Of Ankita. I'm going to take them now, Ankita. He raises a hand. I'm going to take the ship mine and go. Ankita loses her grips on the connection a little. Her hand is shaking now. Stop, Ashton. She lowers the gun a little. Stop. Seeing her drop her guard, he makes his move. A blur of movement, a struggle, a shot, another, another. You recoil back behind the edge as, you, as they ricochet around the inside of the drum, the sound deafening you. When you crawl back to the edge, Ashton is bleeding into the water, the red and the green. Kita is standing at the center of the drum, the severed connection in her hand. The water drips endlessly, drip after drip after drip. Well, you forced yourself to look at the broken sleeper. There's no sign of life of humanity. There's just another broken object among other broken objects. While well, all around living things grow and thrive. She finally looks back up at you, tears in her eyes. She begins to say something, something that might not be sorry, but you are already gone. Well, that did not go well. That did not go well. All right, I want to get some mushrooms, man. This gets us a five. That's pretty good, right? We're going to do that. Yes, we got the mushrooms we need, buddy. I'm honestly not sure if I want to give them though, because we're, we're we've got enough energy. I feel like maybe we should wait. I feel like we should wait for tomorrow to give the mushrooms because if we if we do it now, then we will um we'll probably get fed get free food, which might gain us more energy than two so from a uh, from the perspective of when should we do it we should probably wait should I re-roll my three I think I'll re-roll my three we got a four okay that's that's better we'll use it here you get 19 money nice all right, let's uh, let's go to sleep, and I do want to see what happens when we do the mushrooms. I want to see. <coughs> oh, look at those rolls! A five, a six, and a five. 
Wow, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. Well, except three sixes, I guess. This will give us an upgrade point, I think. gonna be a wait I would have done it yesterday dang it it'll be a little while we need we need energy so we can't we can't buy food from this vendor as they are making mushrooms so we're gonna have to buy food elsewhere Why would I work off Ethan's debt for him? That seems that seems weird. Doesn't that seem weird to you? He's an ass. Why would I why would I work help him work off his debt? The answer is probably because I'm a dingus. We need energy. That's one thing we do need. I mean, this gets us five energy. I feel like... We could steal the harvest. Guaranteed. Guaranteed five energy. But it also seems rude. Like, are we a thief? Are we really a thief? Like, really? Are we really a thief? Like, really? Let's do some more exploration. Clop. Cut away the choking vine. Stop the rot, and this place could be turned back to a garden of sorts. Okay, I don't think I want to do that now, but... Oh, this is, this is the fang one. Okay. What's this? Okay. I need food. Or ener I, well, I need energy. I don't necessarily need food, but I need energy. I could steal. I can steal. I guess I can barter for food. For 16. Eh, let's do that. There we go. Uh, it wasn't, it was only two energy though. Boo earns. Not, not super effective. Not super effective. Hey, Craigery. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, there's a restaurant up there. Is there? I'd forgotten about that one. Also get energy here. I'll use this to get some money. Then on my six. What should I do with my six? Six is the best number. You know. Let 
Let's mess with this. This looks fun to mess with. Alright, do we have a house over here? I can't remember. Or do we have to go ac back across to... Is that what this is gonna be? Like, a place to stay? I kind of hope it's more of a... It has food in it. Like, a house that gets us energy. If it's just a house that gets us, like, a place to stay... Eh. Can do without that. cycle. Not great numbers today, but that's okay. I think, I think Fang should be there. Right? Yes, he is. When you enter the service dock, Fang is already set up, crouched among stacks of equipment. He is le learning, leaning over a terminal bathed in a blue glow. He looks totally at home. Sleeper, what do you think? Turns out not everyone in Havenage is set against me. A couple of old system pals managed to ship me some of my old gear. He gestures at the pile of blinking hardware. Nice kid. Fang does a mock bow. What are, what are we What are we looking at? One massive smoking gun. He raises his eyebrows. Fang beckons you over. He has a set of scans of the waste on his terminal with heat maps of activity overlaid. A chunk of the derelict rim is blotchy with bright red and orange marks. Does this look like a wasteland to you? Fang shakes his head. There's hundreds of Conway machines out there, all lined up in concealed hangars and a whole underground facility to support them. Harden has got a crew out there putting them together. They must be they must have shipped them in piece by piece to the shipyard ready for assembly. Why? They are planning something. No one needs hundreds of heavy duty reclamation drones to run this kind of operation. Maybe Harden masked this whole thing as an effort to clean up the waste, but there's no way this is about pulling scrap off the eye. Fang looks worried, and thus Conway's in the mix. And why is Conway in the mix? I bet no one in Havenage knows another corporation that's setting up on the station. They aren't stupid either. These scans are the best info I can get. The wastes are cut off from the eye's cloud of networks, and the green and, and the greenway is a total dark zone. Nobody can come in can come in or out. We can't hack them. We can't from here. He turns and winks. That's why I'm gonna pay them a visit. How? You forget. Havenage come in and and out of their all cycle. I should be able to get in as long as no one I know sees me. He grimaces playfully. I, but I need you on the outside to help disable security systems to cut, the, cut me a pathway through. There's no cloud access, but if I can get inside, I can open the nodes in their network and we can work in tandem. It's a massive facility buried deep down there miles of corridor and vent ways wrapped around cargo bays and hangars so it'll take more than a few cycles to work through it but as long as you can keep them off my back i know i can rip what we need out of there he pu puts a handful of ripper worms from he pulls a handful of ripper worms from his pocket and hands them to you these are the last of my helpers I managed to salvage, so make them count. I modified them slightly. This time they'll feed their data threads back into the system that they are tunneling into, keeping creating a nasty feedback loop. We run it just like we did with the agents. Hack the nodes, I ping, the lo I ping to locate the ports for the security system, then slot the worms into those systems and let them go to town. He hands you a fuzzy silhouette. He points to a fuzzy silhouette of the buried facility on the terminal. Here's the entryway. This is where you can get access and slot the first worm. That'll fry their perimeter systems and get me past the first cordon. What I need um, from you is to keep your eye on the facility after you kick things off. You see me pop up 
you see me pop up a security system a server bank you need to break in and slot a ripper to disable it as soon as you can if i can't fang gives you a hard look you miss a system you wait too long they're gonna find me simple as that he claps you on the shoulder i need you focused on this so i'm going to let you fire the starting gun i won't go until you slot the first worm i'll leave a tracker running on the terminal here so come back here if you want to see my progress he affectionately pats the top of the screen got it don't worry you can run rings around their protocols i've seen it it's all in the it's all in place you just need to make your own preparations and then slot that worm he stretches let's let just don't wait too long i'm getting bored of all this sneaking around once i'm inside i'll get proof we need to end this whole thing no matter what we can't take longer than six cycles on this thing six cycles he stands up oh and one last thing he lowers his voice if i get caught or you can't reach me or we run out of time there's one thing i need you to do what you take whatever i have manage to pull <clears throat> at that point all that data and you slot that stuff straight into the relay i've set up here he points to a pile of cage servers and terminals hooked in the dock with cables as thick as your arm i repurpose the dock's sos broadcast system to beam out whatever you put in it anyone in the terminal slate or a server on the eye will see it this means have an edge yacht again and hub the hub everyone no matter what harden isn't snaking away this time <clears throat> i've got a bit more to do here but the moment you slot that first worm i'll make my move he gives you a parting smile and turns back to the terminal the, the nerves hit as you make your way out of the service dock time to prepare yourself does this sound like end game to anybody sounds like end game to me but we don't know. Apparently, it'll tell us when it's in game. Maybe this is this what is this? Is this is this like telling me it's in game? You'll need to be ready to give this all your attention. It sounds to me like this may be in game for that for that particular uh, thing. I'm, I'm not I'm not ready for that I'm gonna spend another day dealing with this and seeing what we got so I seriously want to know I want to I want to know what this becomes I'm gonna spend all my actions on this every single one Mel, we did it. Mel, maybe not every single one. <clears throat> the heck? Grove spores? Germinate spores? How do we get spores? How do I get- how do I- oh, we collect spores. That's how. Using a risky action. Uh, you don't think it's in game? Oh, it sounded like it says it says once I do it, I have to focus my attention on it. So I kind of assumed that it might be. Okay, so I see two of them. There's one. There's oh wait, that's Greenway Gate. What's this? The cloud, the green ray roils beneath you like a silt choked river. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> if what Navigator said was true, then no one has accessed these networks since the collapse. The hunter and killer protocols have never set foot here, never cleared out the intelligence and systems. So why then, you wonder, does it look so dark? Is it just that the bit rot has set in, the entropy of systems reducing everything to shadows and light? 
You watch as the slotted cipher fizzles in the in in the one open distorted gateway in this entire rim of the station. It flickers and winks out, and then you are then you are falling into the flow, a river of swirling darkness. You are spun by it, twisted by it, lost in it. It's not that the Greenway was hiding in the darkness. It is made of darkness. It is filled by this this substance, this process, this swarm. Now you are among it. You notice that a swarm is exactly what it is. A billion individuals moving in a flow. There is no network map here. No nodes and threads. Only a storm of interchangeable points. <clears throat> Shifting configuration endlessly. Then, then you see them, a figure turned away the only bright spot in the dark river you push closer through the storm it's a gardener you're facing away only you are facing away at least you think so they are so fractured so overgrown that it is hard to tell even from this distance you can see their flesh is moving for is moving flowing you watch silent as they stoop and reach down in their hands is a dark shape and with twisted fingers, they press it down into the loam of data beneath them, pushing it through this trembling soil. Then you move away, go a little further, and repeat the process as if they were sowing a little field. You push forward, but somehow, despite their slow and deliberate speed, they move faster, and they quickly fade into the storm. You reach the point where you pl they planted an object and look down. There it is, a glassy shifting program polygon with something inside it you reach down and pick it up it is cold but it thrums with energy you look towards the path of the figure but they are long gone when you blink out of the cloud back to the black back to the leaf back back to the leaves in the dappled light of the greenway you hold a seed in your hand i got a seed Seed. Where does it go? It could go here. It doesn't go here. It could go here. It doesn't go here. It could go here. It doesn't go here. Well, I don't know where it goes. Oh yeah, this this opens the next step of the episode. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. All right, let's uh let's go back, I guess. And uh get a get get get. Well, we need to use this too. We also need to get food. So there's a place to get food here. Let's buy a space meal. A spacer meal rather from Monolith Burger, maybe. What can we do with a, what can we do with a two? safe we can do with the two I mean we might get one energy from this so let's do let's do this let's fill up our energy juice there we go we filled it up oh yeah we can't we can't stay here I was thinking we could but we can't all the time guesses are gonna end up low it seems it seems like it Am I just taking too long? Whoa, look at those rolls! Those are crazy! Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready to... 
I'm ready. I'm ready to slot some ta some some tacos. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's slot some things. Wait, what's this? You spot kind of key down the track of farm stack. She has a box on her shoulder and is working her way down the slope. She sees you as you, as you she sees you as she approaches. Neither of you speak for a moment. She looks tired, it's pale. Her hair is tangled and clumps of dirt cling to her armor. You both eye each other. Stay silent. Sleeper. She takes a deep breath. I'm sorry for what happened. Truly, I am. She looks down. I'm sorry you ended up in the middle of this. When all... I'm... When all you have shown me is kindness. She rubs her face. I'm sorry. Stay silent. It's not okay. It's not... It's not okay. It's not okay. For that, for, for that sleeper, that, she stares at the floor. I'm sorry. She looks away. She looks at him in a way, not meeting your eye. What you did is unforgivable. She looks at you. I understand. Shifts her weight on the bot. I've been, I've been preparing for... Look. Can you come with me? It's easier if... Lead on. She leads on, she leads on down the dirt path between the pillars. There's a, a wind passing through the greenway, a, a quirk in the air currents. The biosphere maintains and it ruffles and, and leaves, it ruffles the leaf softly. The sound makes the silence more obvious, more complete. You try not to think of the last time you were here. You've been trying not to think of it for the past few cycles. The image of the sleeper, sprawled, twisted open, connected to the ship mine, has been hard to forget. You realize Ankita is leading you back there, back to the drum at the center of the stack. You pause, trembling a little. The threshold, she turns. What are you doing? She looks at you with empty eyes. What needs to be done? You stand on the threshold and look at the tanks, green and wet, some glowing with flickering glow lamps. You look down at Ankita, slowly, suddenly, so small under this hulking ruin. The the smallest she has ever looked. She places the box down. I'll follow her in, whatever. I mean, I think I, I, I think I know exactly what she's doing. She is a killer. That's why I said that what she did, did was unforgivable. You follow her into the stack through a low tank, entering the drum at ground level. And it's just as beautiful as you remember, but it barely touches you. Instead, you check the apertures of the tanks for the glint of a weapon or a shadow among the moss. She stops, and you look down. The mossy island at the center of the tank is clear now. The equipment cleared away. In this, in its place is a mound of dirt, loosely covered with moss. Her rifle stands straight, half buried in the dirt, as the grave's head. As the grave's head. I buried them together, she says without turning. You both stand there in silence for a little while. You ask, You think of questions you could ask about Ashton, about the sleeper. I don't really want to ask any questions. You realize that those questions don't matter anymore. The water drips, the moss trembles. You both stand in silence for a while longer. You both feel it, life creeping back in, the silence ending. Akita shifts her weight and then starts to walk out. You follow her, suddenly eager to be back out, of the, out in the open space of the greenway, to be away from this place forever. You stand outside and breathe the fresh air. You stare at the green leaves and the stars wheeling above them. That's it, says Ankita from somewhere behind you. You try to think of something to say, but can't. She puts a hand on your shoulder. You turn ba back to her. At least take this. She forces a handful of Cairo chips at your hands. That's what I owe you. She looks at you desperately. You look down at the metal bars, ugly little things, you think. Why would I not take them? Like, why would I not take them? Like, do I think this money's dirty? Like, I don't know. You take the chits and turn without saying a word. You continue up the track and she does not follow. As you walk up the rise, the wind picks up and leaves, leaves under. You walk faster, trying to outpace your anger. The chits are heavy in your pockets and you hate them for reminding you of how little life is worth. Whoa, it was 200! Holy 
Craparonis. And that option is apparently no longer available to us. Holy crap. We also got an upgrade point. We have one upgrade point. All right. I repeat, holy crap -aronis. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. All right, let's do it. That was a heavy quest line. All right, we're doing it. We did it. As you slot the worm, a thread jumps up out of the facility. It unspools in front of you, releasing its data like ink in water. Sleeper, moving in. Nodes, then ports, a whir of interference. Slot the worms, timer starts now, stay safe. The thread dissipates, you're on your own now. Do I do, do I need to do this? I'm confused. I don't fully understand what is going on. Wait, wasn't there, I thought there was another one. getting high numbers is necessarily not necessarily a good thing hi dunk donuts how's it going part of me kind of wants to re-roll all of these good dice I'm, I'm doing it we have good dice, but we're gonna re-roll them for the sake of the plot line. three we don't have a five or a three a two or a four we have a four okay i see how this is gonna go it's gonna it's gonna require all sorts of different tamaco yeah i remember tamaco it had nothing to do with tacos though wait i forgot to do the thing oh no i forgot to do the thing where i hit the button I forgot to hit the, did I just screw myself over? Tell me I didn't screw myself over by not doing that. I didn't hit the button. Uh-oh. Oh, we probably have to get both of them. Never mind. We probably have to get both of them. That's probably my issue. All right, well, I can't do anything else here. So. I guess we'll hang out over here and do stuff. All right, I, I don't know what that's gonna get me, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get some spores. I feel like this is probably where we end up planting the seed. Maybe.
Now we just need to find some safe actions to do. Uh, One's good enough. We can, we can do something else with this one, probably. I don't know what. Something. Any of those things? But Ethan can suck a something. Alright, we'll just get that last energy back. What the heck? Just hang out at home and sunbathe. Who doesn't like some good sunbathing action? Action, action. Alright. In the cycle. Thank you.